Hello Cancer, I am here to do your second half of um, September by weeklies. Let's see what's going on for Cancer in the second half of September. Um, the song I got for you guys was Sweet But Psycho by Ava Max. So we all know how that one goes. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. Um, are you dealing with a psycho or are you the psycho? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know, Cancer. We're going to have to get into the cards for this one because I don't know how that, um, that song applies to you, but I'm sure it resonates for you. All right. So overall energy between you and another person, the high priestess. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Interesting. Are there like some secrets here? I like just started talking for the first time today. So you guys are my first reading of the day. So I'm going to have to drink water because my voice is like waking up. Um, the high priestess. Ooh. I'm going to get a clarifier for her because she is... She's very mysterious, very secretive. Maybe somebody's hiding their psycho side. And you kind of know, oh my god, Cancer. You're not going to believe the card that just came out. There's two cards. I don't know what this one is, but this one flipped over. The devil card. Oh my god, somebody is... And the king of cups. Oh my god, how funny is this? Sweet and psycho. Sweet and psycho. Who are you dealing with, Cancer? Um, I feel like, gosh, there's some like parts of this person that might be like hidden to you. Maybe you don't see the full picture just yet. Or you're starting to and you're like, oh my God, which one is the real person that I'm dealing with? Are you guys dealing with some Gemini? No tea, no shade to the Gemini. But in the Gemini reading, it was kind of dealing with this person who's kind of like, um, split personality, so I don't know. Maybe check out their reading. Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. So Earth energy. We also have, obviously, Capricorn energy, but Pisces with the water and the High Priestess, so. And now the King of Swords and the King of Wands. Whoa, there's a lot of people here. Is this, like, multiple people involved or multiple personalities? All right. So let's see what this Queen of Pentacles here. The King of Swords is in the neutral energy. So for me, that's kind of like communicating, um, somebody coming forth and communicating. The Justice card is here to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So interesting. I feel like when this person makes a decision, they're like, they stick to it. They're just like, you know what? And I feel like they've made a decision on something and they're really sticking to it. And this might be like a different side of them that you haven't seen before. Let's see what this King of Wands is all about. Two of Pentacles. Um, this could have to do with like marriage. Somebody that you're married to. Maybe it's a new marriage and you're just realizing that they have this other side to them. Um... Gosh, there could be some arguments going on right now. Um, and you're just seeing a new side to this person. I don't know why this is coming up. I'm sure when we flip over the other cards, we'll start to see. But definitely with that Justice card there, it seems like there's some, like, uh, back and forth, back and forth going on. But with the King of Wands and Two of Pentacles, I feel like there's still a lot of passion. Somebody's more like grounded and stable and um, rooted in what they want. And somebody's a little bit more fiery, maybe. All right, so some threes. Some three of pentacles here. The Hierophant in reverse. And then the three of wands. So it's like, ugh, and then the three of cups. That's a lot of threes. That's a lot of threes. That's a lot of threes, Cancer. I don't know what that's about. 
I don't want to jump to conclusions and say third party situation. Um, but it could be like you and this up uh, this person's double personalities. I don't know, but it's like you still want to move forward with this person. You're still waiting on gosh, you have to go watch Gemini's because you could be the person in Gemini's um, or if you have Gemini in your chart. So it's like you're still waiting for this person to make a commitment to you. And it looks like your ships are coming in. But it's like a battle. You've been battling, like, you've been battling your patience with this person. You've been battling, like, other people for this person. It's like something about this person's personality or personalities um, excites you. It excites you. And you kind of want, you want some more of it. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of like people in the mix here. And when I say people, I'm really getting the strong distinction that it's like per personalities. I don't even think this person's like with other people. They've just got multiple personalities. But you're here still wanting to do work, still wanting to move forward with this person. This person's like the hangman. This person's also, as that queen of pentacles, they kind of stay rooted in where they are. And like, you have to go to that person type of situation. Like, they, um, <clears throat> they can sometimes put themselves out in the cold. And it's like up to you to go out and like pull them out of there. Um... And I don't know, this person just seems like they really, they really make you work for this stuff. And I feel like right now you might think that there's been an ending here, but I don't, I don't see that. I see it moving forward. I see it coming back around, but I see like right now there might be a period where you are a little bit out in the cold, a little bit out in the cold, a little bit worn out by this person and their personalities. Um, but you still want this to move forward. And I feel like this person's a little bummed out too. So it's like, um, but they're someone that's like, they don't go after people. They're like, people come to them. So I feel like that's what you're considering. Like, do I go back? Do I let it just fizzle out? But I feel like something that you're wanting is going to come in for you. So if you're wanting this person to come out of like whatever the hell they've been in, whatever funk they've been in, I feel like they are and they're going to come towards you and it's going to be more smooth sailing, but I can't promise anything for like future if this like personality comes back out again. So cancer, that's what I'm seeing for you guys for the second half of September. I think that's what you're dealing with. In the extended, I'm going to be doing messages from this person, actions this person's going to be taking, advice from spirit, as well as how to move forward on this connection. So if you're interested in that, I will see you, I will see you there. All right, bye.